Hi, my name is Akiba Khani. I am from Tampa, Florida in the United States. Uh, and I have the opportunity and the privilege and the blessing to be the director for this year's University of Central Asia's uh, Summer Upgrading Program in Narin. Uh, this experience has been one of challenge, uh, but also of growth and understanding of love. Uh, and I think that I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Uh, UCA Summer Pro Upgrading Program uh, and the way it's presented to the students, I think provides a unique opportunity for our students to truly experience uh, English immersion, right? And that's a big part of what we do at camp. Our faculty is professors, world-renowned, locally and uh, internationally, that come and teach this curriculum for uh, students from all across the globe. Uh, we have teachers from America to India to Central Asia, and I think that that just shows the type of sort of uniqueness and broad sort of approach we have to our students. So I think that one is that faculty. The second is the faculty uh, facility, right? So UCA's campus the University of Central Asia is magnificent, right? And so to be able to bring the students into an environment which allows them to truly understand learning uh, and, and it promotes it and it supports it, uh, it's truly magical, right? I think that the environment in which they're in allows a child to truly learn. And UCA's facilities uh, provides for that. It is upgraded with the latest technology, the newest information, and the best sort of environment where the, the learning is heightened at a level that it sort of you know, wouldn't elsewhere. And then I think uh, also the curriculum that the faculty brings with it. Uh, and then lastly, I think what really is the best and the most underpinning of all of this is the, the camp itself, right? So you can do a lot of upgrading programs where you can teach math, science, English, uh, but doing it in a camp medium, a format that allows for these students to truly understand this curriculum, right? Your teachers are living with you, your counselors are living with you. If you have questions, you go to them. If you have uh, sort of confusions, you go to them. But also outside from the classroom, in the camp, the child grows to, learns to be strong, independent, uh, learns to sort of live on his own, understand on its own, understand the value, right? So your parents are not with you for the past 19 days and, and allowing the absence of your parents truly now shows them their worth and value, right? That, hey, my parents did X, Y, and Z for me. They cooked for me, cleaned for me, and now I have to sort of do a few of those things, uh, which allows me to understand and value my family and my parents more. And I think a camp allows you to do that. Not only does the camp offer an environment for the students to thrive academically, but it also allow, allows them to improve their cognitive thinking skills. It allows them to step up to, out of their comfort zone. It allows the students to really engage with others and engage in cultural exchange, as well as it creates an environment for the students to build lifelong friendships across Central Asia and beyond. Um, the great thing about this camp is that it has inspiring and highly qualified counselors and teachers who do their best to make sure that the students get the most out of the camp and that is oh so wonderful to see all the counselors, all the faculty so involved every single day. Um, additionally, what is so great is that the camp has small student teach teacher ratio and small student counselor ratio. So each student gets the individualized attention that they deserve and the students also have more access to the teachers and the counselors outside of the class environment. And then one of my other favorite memories, I think, is family time. So every night we all come together. There's about eight of us. Um, and that's like my students and me. And it's my time to be with them one on one. Um, and I get to ask them random questions and they get to tell me how their day went. They tell me what went well about their day, what they wish they could change. Um, and then they tell me about their lives. So they tell me about their struggles, why they're at camp in the first place, um, how, you know, what they look for whenever they think of themselves 10 years from now. And it's really interesting to see how the kids' answers change from I don't know to, oh, now I want to be an engineer or I want to continue going to school or I want to go to a university. Um, and hearing the, you know, those, those children get empowered, I think, has been the biggest blessing. Um, besides the students' engagement in um, academics, they also get a chance to participate in extracurricular activities as well as go on excursions across Kyrgyzstan. Uh, we've also done a lot of activities and outings with them. For example, we went to Salkantor, we went to Isakul, uh, and that was really exciting as well. Uh, in Salkantor, we got to do sort of a GIS experiment, taking pictures of different things and seeing how it you know, plots out on a map. And that was just really fun because it was outdoors, it was in nature. Uh, we got to see sort of like the beauty of Kyrgyzstan, you know, which is what Kyrgyzstan is famous for. Uh, and in Issaquil, that was just a really relaxing, fun day. You know, all the students got to swim. Some of them 
uh, have never, you know, really swam before, which, which for me was really surprising. Uh, and so, you know, a few of the counselors, we were able to sort of teach them how to float, how to, you know, properly kick, things like that. And that was also really exciting. This summer upgrading program, this camp plays a very big role in my life. Uh, I had a big influences from this program and I really appreciate the help of our counselors for us because uh, because when I uh, when now I look at myself I see a very different person before the camp I was different in terms of being dependent on others I was sometimes moody sometimes not so now uh, when I look at myself I see a different person being more patient realizing my goals my dreams and trying to achieve them and also I I, I realized that I I improved different skills such as being hardworking, enthusiastic. Now I know that it's very important to be really patient because nothing in our life uh, we, we can't achieve. And also I'd like to share about the most uh, interesting part for me. Uh, when, we were, when we went out of the camp, for example to Salpentor or to yesterday we went to Isiku, it was really amazing. Um, I enjoyed Salkantor because uh, there we were we were working like uh, G with GIS programs and all these kind of, such kind of things. Uh, my I was there like an uh, ecologist. Uh, in future, I would like to be a geologist, and the ecologist is a bit similar to my future profession. Uh, we work there with ODK programs and all these kind of things. We were searching for uh, for plants that are going to be decreased and uh, uh, different types of rocks, insects, and all these things. I really enjoyed it, and I'm really thankful for such opportunities. And uh... summer upgrading program in. Uh... University of Central Asia in Narin is first camp in my life, so the, uh, it, it's very exciting for me because I have never been in such universities as UCA and the most thing that I like that we are improving our English skills, our math skills, our science skills. Like Every day we have three sessions and for the first week we had one session of science, math and English and after the first week we had two sessions of English and one session of math. So uh, I like everything in this camp. Uh, it started from the staff, they are full of energy. Like even if they had a hectic day before, they are wake up every day as, and they are full of energy. They don't show their uh, tired, that they are tired. I got a lot of new friends. Like we are from three countries, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, and Tajikistan. And uh, after these meetings, I really want to visit Tajikistan and the Kyrgyzstan cities. So the classes, we have uh, four days of classes every day. They are very intensive and then the classes we are giving students time to have individual work, peer work and teamwork. We have a lot of presentation, we watch movies, we uh, watch TED Talks. Um, I mean, it is a very interactive classroom. So students are very free, uh, we do story writing, we do story reading, students express their opinion in English. And the main thing about the camp is that which is very good, students are speaking in English right from the morning till evening and even in their, with their roommates in their rooms. We also, we are not allowed to speak any other languages except English, so this is English Immersion Camp. One word, what is one word that describes the University of Central Asia's summer upgrading program? I would say it's monumental. Uh, it is a monument in one's life that is this support system that will be with them, that they can look to and say, that is my sense of strength that will push me forward into the next generation. The one word that I would use to describe the camp is transformative. The best part is seeing the students transform through their journey at camp. I would like to say it is an extraordinary um, because um, it, is, it is a place where uh, the students in their young age, they come together and they see pluralism and the beauty of diversity and then they, um, how to say, they experience it. They don't hear it, they don't listen to it, they just experience it. They walk into shoes of people who see the diversity from their own eyes. And it is something that um, helps students to change um, and helps students to understand the, uh, the beauty of diversity and pluralism. Um, formative. 
I chose the word formative because I think this camp and camp in general is a very important moment in the lives of young people and I think our camp is especially instrumental in forming people's personalities and how they develop as people and changing their worldviews um, and how they see the world. One word to describe the camp is flabbergasting. Yeah. I would say nurturing. Um, I think this camp, camp is a very is a very kind place, and we try to nurture um, love and kindness in in students. Uh, and I think we actually we actually we actually ar arrived to do to do this to nurture all the positive things we wanted. Okay, so the word I'm gonna use is impactful. I think this camp has a huge impact on these kids. Uh, you know, they've developed a lot and you can see the difference. Uh, not they, they haven't only developed their academic skills, but also their social skills, you know. They came here, they were very reserved, but towards the end you could see that they're very open and they've developed many skills. And if they lack the skills, they gain them. Describing camp in one word, connection. Yeah, um, I think every student has a connection with somebody else, whether it be a counselor, whether it be another student. You know, um, there's new friendships being formed, there's new mentorships being formed. Um, and even though these students are here just for, you know, they, they come in thinking, oh, I'm gonna go to class every day, I'm gonna go to English, math, and science. Um, but what they don't realize is that they're making these lifelong bonds with each other through these classes, through the evening programs that we lead. Whenever they come together and sing their chants together, whenever they're at lunch and they wanna be the ones that start the chants that we sing and they're so enthusiastic and they want to learn about each other. Um, and I hope that these connections keep lasting after camp is over. Um, ineffable, indescribable, you can't describe it. It, will, it won't be fair just to describe it one way. I would say empowering. I think for the students it's important uh, to come to an atmosphere, an environment like this where we're so strict on English immersion and for them to realize like actually it doesn't really matter if my English level might not be that high if I, I feel like I can't speak that well because everyone who comes here they're like that. Of course there's different uh, skill level, right? But when everyone is speaking English, it really gets them in the mindset like, okay, I can speak English. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. As long as I'm trying and I'm speaking, that's, you know, that's enough. And it really is true. And once they really believe in that mindset, then it, their learning just, you know, starts sinking in so fast because now they're just surrounded by only English all day, every day. Right, and also when you combine that with a lot of the evening programs we do, which forces them to step out of their comfort zone, and I know that's not fun for a lot of them, but that's the point, right? Like combine that English speaking ability and combine, you know, forcing them to come out of their comfort zone, that's where you see the growth happen. Uh, and so, you know, all these factors, I think is what leads to students just feeling more and more confident and just seeing themselves uh, be more proactive. And I think that's really important.